<laughs> I'm yawning. <laughs> That's partly how I feel at the end of the year. I got two weeks left. I love my job, but I'm just like the students. I'm counting the days. Um, and it's crunch time uh, with all our projects, clean up. I don't know if you see all these pillars everywhere, but we got to recycle all this clay, get the classroom ready for the next teacher. It's been a really, it's been a good year. It's been, there's been a lot going on this year. Um, I will have to say, I've, I, the students by far this semester have been awesome. They've been great. I butted heads with a few kids, but honestly, even the kids I've butted heads with, usually the next day, we can both come to a place and apologize, even if I need to apologize, you know? Um, and that's been really cool, and they've been receptive to that. And, but for the most part, any student, I don't have any students that are just weasels and try to just skim by and get points and, you know, uh, n talking back. I, I, a little bit, but not hardly anything. And even then, kids will say, oh, I'm sorry, I was just having a rough day. And that's being human. That's awesome. It's, it's exciting to have a job, even when you're wiped out, to be at the end of the school year, I'm excited about the beginning of next school year. And I think that's what I also like about my job is that every semester, it's, I get a chance to reinvent myself. And I think I've been doing that since I've been teaching. And so now 20 plus years, um, I think that's what's made it fresh for me. And nothing, it, it's not boring by any means. It's not dull. So next semester, I'm actually gonna be in the drawing and painting room. And then in the fall, or excuse me, in the spring, I'll be back up here in sculpture. So I go back and forth between sculpture and, and draw and design and, and painting. And I like the balance, I really do. Um, by all means, I'm not necessarily sick of sculpture, but it is nice to, to just kind of change it up. And um, so I have another colleague, she'll take over this classroom in the fall. So I have a lot of work to do in working with the students and cleaning this place up. Yeah, look, thinking back on this semester, and it's been good. It's been really good. And I really, I'm really um, fortunate about my job and I really love my job and it is a job and it's work. I, I think what's interesting about this is it's not uh, the act of making is I think a lot of students don't realize it until five, 10, 15 years outside of high school that the experience that they had in here, the memories that they had and that's the richness that comes out of here. Um, hopefully they still had that sculpture or that mug or the bowl they made. But those, that's just superficial because those are just kind of holding their memories and their time. And, you know, I love watching when students pull something out of the kit and there's just a, a, a pride that comes over them and uh, a sense of craftsmanship that they've never really experienced before because I've encouraged them to, to put time into something and not just whip something out for an assignment, uh, for points. Um, so I really enjoy being a cheerleader and a coach in that. And, and I feel like sculpture is just a it's, a, it's a catalyst for talking about things like life, you know? Um, I had, I had two, two students, or three students actually, who lost their dad this semester, and that's heavy. Um, I had one student who's just going through some other things and having a tough time just being here. And, but to be able to create a space and where you can make it a safe place for them. And, and I don't dive deep in with them. I just ask them, how are you doing today? And, and that's all they really need. And a lot of them just say, thanks for asking. They don't need to tell me everything. Um, but creating that safe place and and but at the same time, working with their hands, um, it's a really wonderful, beautiful thing. And I really am so blessed to be a part of it. Even though I'm the door opener and I'm the instigator, um, I'm honored to be a part of these young people's lives. Yeah, so I got summer. I'll work on my own, my own stuff. 
Uh, in the fall, I'll be down in the painting drawing room and I already got a project in mind that I'm looking forward to that, again, I feel like I'm the guy that, that, that cranks up the old Model T and I let the students drive. I get the propeller going and I've already got something on my mind. But, uh, and so I'm looking forward to that. And like I said, it just keeps perpetuating.